Hi there. Well, today I'm really excited to be showing you this PoE 8 channel NVR from Reolink. Now, up to now, I've been using Wi Fi cameras with SD cards. So, this is a massive step up. So, let's have a look together. So the unit we're looking at today is the RLN8410, 8 channel PoE NVR with 24-7 recording, um, supporting up to 16 megapixels, power over ethernet, 8 channel and a 2 terabyte hard drive built. In. So having a look at the device itself, on the right hand side over here we've got some navigation buttons, a select menu, an all and a play pause button. Um, on the left hand side here we've got a USB port, We've got an infrared um, unit for a remote control, which is not supplied with the device. We've got a power light and a hard drive activity light. On the casing, we've got some ventilation. And on the back here, we've got our DC in, we've got our power, we've got our audio, the USB plug, this is for using a mouse to navigate around. Uh, we've got your HDMI out, so this is used for a monitor locally on the device, or you can use VGA here if, you, if you're wanting to use that. We've got an eSATA, so this is for connecting an external hard drive of up to 6 terabytes. We've got our LAN connection, and then we've got 8 PoE LAN ports on the back side as well. So I thought I'd give you a look inside. You can see we've got our two terabyte Toshiba hard drive. This can easily be swapped out for larger hard drives. Now on this side over here, we've got the control board. As you can see, there's no fans, which means no dust is getting drawn through this device and no extra noise from the device. It's all passive cooling. Um, on this side over here, we've got a reset button in case you need to reset the device. And we've also got a little piezo buzzer over there so there are a couple of ways to access the data on your nvr you can either log in directly to the system like we are over here so here we've got access to our different cameras we can select our channels now this is one thing that you do need to do locally is adding additional cameras this cannot be done via the web app or via the phone app so once we go in here we can select the auto add which will actually detect any cameras on our network. And then we are just asked to add our username and password to get access to these. And then you can access them from the remote apps. Now, one thing that I did find when I was connecting my cameras was that I actually had to reboot the cameras that were already on my network before they would connect to my NVR. So the Reolink app that I'm running here on my Windows PC gives us an amazing picture. And one of the key things, the first thing we want to do here is go into settings and we want to go along here to the network section and to advanced server settings. And we need to check these two boxes, HTTPS stream and RTSP stream, because these are the two things that are going to allow us to access this device from our home assistant. So once I had enabled those streams, I was able to connect the home assistant directly to the NVR. It actually showed up immediately. And look at all these devices that we've got information about here. So we can now go and we can push a buzzer on any event that's occurring. We can switch on or off the emailing. We can um, allow for FTP uploads and push notifications. And we can even turn the recording on and off on our NVR. We've even got a restart button that we can enable if we want to. And it will show us how much storage we're using on our NVR. So you can see there, as I'm recording, it is basically increasing over time. The other thing is I can actually go and have a look at the cameras connected to this device. So here I can have a look at one of my rear link cameras. I can turn the floodlight on on the device. I can also access the siren control. I can see here um, if I've got motion detection on any of my AI motion, which is person, vehicle or pet detection. Um, we've got some hidden ones here as well. Not too worried about that. So here we can actually go and adjust the sensing level the sensitivity of those different AI detections. Once again, we can select if we want a buzzer, etc. We can control our adaptive 
floodlights. Um, we've got all sorts of access. So to me, this is just incredible, the amount of information that we can pull and control through our Home Assistant with this Reolink system. So if we have a look at the playback of a segment of my recording from last night, you can see we've got this great color vision on this camera. And if we have a look here, we can actually go along here and we can select a segment of this video and we can download that if we want to. Uh, we can also go in here and we can actually adjust this so we can select whatever segment. You'll see here these little blue items or markers here will show us exactly when we've got an incident on our timeline. Um, obviously, I'm on a busy road here, so I'm getting a lot of incidents popping up on my timeline. So overall, pretty impressed with this little MVR, and give me your feedback if you've tried one of these. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.